Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to select cases in SPSS. Now, I'm going to do it in the very, some very simple examples, and then I'm going to move up and do something a little bit more complicated, but very useful, uh, and that I think a lot of people might struggle with. And then I'm going to talk about how to save uh, a data set that is based on selected cases. So in this example uh, data set that I've got, I've got a, an education level a variable and it's got three levels in it and there's something like 200 people in each level so we've got undergraduates uh, master's students level and then PhD and they're coded one two and three now if I only wanted to do uh, analyses based on uh, or if I only wanted to select uh, one group upon which I would do some analyses, and I'll note at the beginning that there's another way of doing that kind of thing, which is the split file option in SPSS, which might be better. And I'd recommend you check that video out that I've got on the split file option. Uh, but this is selecting cases. You want to select cases. Uh, you go into data, select cases, and let's say you only wanted to select those that are at the master's level so you'd go into select cases if choose education level and then write uh, or type in equal to because I know that's the um, level for masters and what happens is SPSS creates a filter variable that uh, it adds at the last column here so here's a filter variable that's created by SPSS and it demarcates the selected cases as ones so now anytime I do an analysis with this filter on you can see down here that it says the filter is on if I do an analysis uh, on these uh, data it's only going to do it on uh, those ca uh, those cases that are correspond to master's level or education level two, and you can see that SPSS put a a, a, a cross, uh, not a cross, but just a slash against all the uh, cases that are not associated with the number two on that uh, variable. So we can see the twos are still um, they're not slashed in terms of their rows. But then once you get to the threes, then the slashing of the case takes place. Uh, if you wanted to uh, do something a little more complicated, yeah, you can go into data, select cases. Now, what if you wanted to select undergrads plus PhD students? Uh, how would you do that? Uh, well, it it seems a bit more complicated, but it's actually not not terribly complicated. You go into select cases and then choose your your variable of interest, and uh, you want an education level equal one for undergrads, but then you want to choose the number three as well, which is the PhD students. So you couldn't use a less than or greater than uh, option, which I'll do in a second in another case. And the key here is to actually use the OR operator, this thing right here. Education level 1 plus the OR operator, and then you write education level again, and you write 3. So it's choose education level 1 uh, or level 3. Uh, and I think some people might think you should put the operator AND in there, but you don't. You use the, oper or, uh, the OR operator. And what that'll do is it'll select cases um, for that are associated with ones and threes. So we can see that now the ones are not slashed, those cases are not slashed, but only the cases that are twos will be slashed.